reason for the potential war in the Middle East, Afghanistan, all over the place. It's, it's all the same fucking thing. Ukraine is just another one. It doesn't matter if it is the 19th century, the 20th century, whether it's the First World War, the Second World War, the Gulf Wars, or the Ukraine. It's all exactly the same reason. Somebody in power wants energy. The First World War, it was cold. Germany sent kids in to assassinate Archduke Ferdinand. So he had an excuse to go and investigate so he could basically invade the country to get the coal resources. Second World War, it was oil. And ever since then, America has had wars, invaded, or whatever else the bloody reason is, so they can get the resources that the country has. Or to stop the countries from selling their energy to somebody else. Russia supplies at the moment 5% of Britain's gas. If this pipeline goes through, which is nearly ready, they will supply 90% of Britain's energy requirements, which means America will no longer be able to supply us with nuclear power, which is why they have now got everybody up in arms to go and have a little squabble with Russia. Basically, they want to keep supplying Europe and Britain with energy and not have somebody else do it instead. Got nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with the Ruskies and communism and all that other sort of bollocks. It's all down to a handful of Americans wanting to sell energy to the rest of the world. And they'll quite happily have American troops and their allies, with bunny ears, invade and murder tens of millions of people to do it. You want proof of that? Look at history. No matter how you want to word it, that is the reason for every war America has ever engaged in. <clears throat> no, excuse me. The reason that they went to war with Japan was due to the energy crisis, was because they knew that Japan was a competition for oil. In the end, they nuked them. <laughs>